fuck? My tooth hurts. Find the magistrate's Daifu. I'm sorry, but the magistrate's doctor is visiting another village. I know of an old family remedy, but I am missing a quill from the crested porcupine. What's a crested porcupine? The crested porcupine is a very, very big creature. And it has huge, ugly teeth. And it eats little cats! <coughs> Songwo is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Xie Xie. My dear, I'll call for your Daifu right away. Find the magistrate's Daifu. My dear husband is in pain. I'm sorry, but the magistrate's doctor is visiting another village. He won't be back for days. Then go and get the village Daifu. No, I only want my Daifu. Well, we must do something. Ow! Or we'll never get any sleep. I think I may have a solution for the Magistrate. That's great. I'm so tired, I don't think my brain's working right. I know of an old family remedy that could help. Huh? But I am missing one very important ingredient. A quill from the crested porcupine. Porcupine? <laughs> Dongwa, what's a crested porcupine? Ah, yeah! The crested porcupine is a very, very big creature who lives all alone in the hills. And it has huge, ugly teeth. And it eats little cats! Roar! <laughs> <laughs> You're such a baby, Sagwa. I'm not a baby. <laughs> scaredy cat, scaredy cat, Sog was a scaredy cat. <laughs> uh, stay away from me. I'm fine. Ow. Really? I just want to have a look at it, dear. You'll just make it worse. My caring chrysanthemum. <laughs> Madam. If I may have a word with you. Don't worry, I am preparing a special healing soup for the Magistrate. Will it help? I believe so, as long as the reader finds the missing ingredient. Let's all hope so. Here, porcupine! Where are you hiding? Aha! <sighs> hmm. I shouldn't do this, 
but my poor magistrate's tooth. I know you're down there. Uh, ouch! Cook, I need a bandage. That nasty porcupine and his stupid quills. How hard could it be to get one silly quill? It's a monster. You said it yourself. The porcupine is really big with lots and lots of ugly teeth. Oh, yeah, right. Ah, my little adventurers. I could sure use your help finding that porcupine again. Where are you going? You heard him. He needs my help. Uh, um, wait for me. You're scared too, huh? What? Me? I'm not scared at all. Maybe we'd be safer together. I told you, I'm not scared. And besides, I can find that porcupine all by myself. Fine, I'll find the porcupine all by myself too. At least, I'll try. Let's see Dongwa do that. Not this time. Now, let's see if anybody's home. Ah, ah, they got me again! Oh, I found it! The crested porcupine! And it is huge! <gasps> Whoa! Just like Dongwa said. I have to get a quill. But how? Let's see. Maybe I can distract him with some food. And while he's eating... I could sneak up on him. Something I can do, but I just can't give up. <sighs> Dear, I don't think that cotton will help. I really think you should start thinking about having that tooth of yours uh, pulled out. Maybe the cook. No, oh, no, you don't. Stay away from my mouth. Ow. Nobody's touching my mouth except my Thai food. It'll be fine. Oh, my persistent persimmon. Ooh, whatever you say, dear. What was that? <gasps> oh, it's the porcupine. He's not that big. And his teeth aren't ugly at all. He doesn't really look that mean and scary. I wonder. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Please don't hurt me. I'm, uh, Sogwa. What's your name? I'm Hauju. You sure gave me a scare earlier. I scared you? 
Wow. So, Sagwa, what brings you all the way out here? Actually, I need a favor. I need one of your quills. My quill? Why? My master, the foolish magistrate, has a really, really bad toothache. Ouch. And the cook needs one of your quills for the soup he's making. It's supposed to help. I had a toothache once. Wow. Thank you so much, Hao Chu. You're welcome, Sagwa. I guess I'm not that scary after all, huh? No, I guess not. Um, Hachu, how come you hurt my friend earlier? The one who tried taking a quill from you. Oh, him. That was an accident. When I get scared, my quills protect me. I thought his hand was a snake. Silly, huh? Well, I thought you were a huge monster. Me? A monster? And I thought I was the only one with a wild imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Sagwa, watch out! It's the monster porcupine! <clears throat> he's not a monster. He's Hauju, my new friend. And he's nice enough to give me a quill. Thanks again. We better get going. Come back and see me anytime. Oh. Rawr! A crested porcupine quill. Great job! But how did you... Ah, never mind. Brave kittens, we better get this back to the cook so he can finish the soup. So, how'd you make friends with that porcupine anyway? Easy. I just stopped letting my imagination make him into something you made up. had this soup prepared especially for you, dear. He assures me that it will make your tooth feel much better. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my great dowager aunt is coming for a visit, and she's going to stay with us for a whole month. Isn't that great news? <gasps> what have you done? My tooth! My tooth! The pain. It's gone. The pain's all gone! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Ouch! My toe! I think I sprained my baby toe! Oh, there goes my beauty sleep! Again! Ah! Yum! Some of my favorite times of the day are meal times. And dessert time is super yummy. I bet you agree. But did you know that desserts really aren't that big a deal in China? In fact, a typical dessert would be fresh fruit or candied ginger. Sweet dishes are eaten at big banquets or holidays, but not every day. One of my all-time favorite desserts are mooncakes. We eat these during the Moon Festival, an important Chinese holiday. It's like a cookie, stuffed with different sweet fillings. Some mooncakes have an egg yolk in the middle, which looks like a bright moon. These delicious round cakes symbolize family togetherness. One last thing. Did you know that Chinese fortune cookies aren't really Chinese at all? They are an American invention. What about you? Do you have a favorite dessert? Kisses, lollipops... More and other kinds of candies. I love pinatas because you could, because it's fun to hit them, and it's fun to jump in and get all the candy. I would normally hit it sideways, or if it has a flat bottom, I would hit it upwards. If I could make a pinata, I would probably make a big humongous lollipop. Now that's a great story. My sweet tooth is throbbing. Hmm, my other sweet tooth wants to go to Russia, where they're making Rowanberry jam. Yo, me! Jam is very popular in Russia. The berry for this jam comes from the Rowan tree, which some people believe has magical powers. 
You can eat these berries right off the tree, even if they are pretty bitter. But add a little sugar while you cook, and ta-da! A delicious jam. It seems people all over the world have one big sweet tooth. Oh. What, what about, about you? you? Next on Sagwa, play with the top. I'll show you. You coil your tail around the top of the top like this, and then pull. You haven't been paying attention. I know how to play, you know. You're so... you're so bossy. I'm going to run away. We'll find you. We know all your secret hiding spots. Not if I... if I... if I go outside. Where's Shigua? <gasps> it's all my fault. And I, this almighty magistrate, decree that this rain that has fallen unceasingly for seven days and... I formally decree that this rain shall end tonight. Does he really think he can order the rain to stop falling from the sky? Shh. It is not our place to question the magistrate's rules, only to ensure that they are well written and... Hey! Stop it! Move over! Mm -hmm. You move over! Out! Quit pinching! Out! <clears throat> this is my Lord pillow! God. Go sit on your own pillow, Huangdo! Uh. 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 Ow! Mama! Huangdo hit me! I barely touched you, Bado. You're such a baby! <laughs> Oh, rain, rain, rain. Nothing to do. Everybody getting so crabby and cranky. Donghua, Shigua, cut it out! We were just playing. I am not a toy. Hmm. Toys for sale. My one jila. Toys for raining day. My one jila. Toys for sale! Toys for winning the Toys? Race. Toys! Now, now, Pang, you leave Ping and Pong alone. As soon as this rain lets up, we'll go outside for a nice little... <laughs> a common peddler? Here? Off with you! Shoo! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Oh, Mama, please buy me this, Shi Huan. It sounds so pretty. And I want this gaga. Peddlers are strictly forbidden on palace grounds. All appointments must be arranged and approved in advance. <laughs> Most honorable lady. One can never tell where it will rain. And the children need toys on a rainy day. Look, a landling. Can I have this, Mama? Ping, Pan Kong! Down, boys. It's only a mask, only a landling. <laughs> That should be more than enough for your cheap toys. Now, off with you! Oh, what's this? Three playful kittens. And without a thing to play with. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. I just happen to have some kittens-sized toys here. <laughs> you look to me to be a curious cat. What will it be like to fly? For you, uh, a nyao, a little bird. And you, you look like a fierce fellow who likes to run about. Well, for you, a fierce dragon kite. A feng chen. Ah, I see that you like to spin and spin. For you, a polio, a top. Oh, don't worry. This ring will end soon. I've just come from the north, and uh, there is a snowstorm coming this way. Oh, 
You mean you've never seen snow? Oh, it's beautiful. Is that Ragged Pedra still oh? here? Enjoy your toys. Huh? Look! My bird can fly! It can't fly as high as my dragon! Hmm, this kite is nice. But I was really hoping for firecrackers. Why? Oh, because firecrackers go... Go what? That's not how you play with a top. I'll show you. You coil your tail around the top of the top like this, and then pull! Let me try, let me try! <laughs> Look! I did it! It's spinning! No, no, like this. You have to coil your tail just right. Okay, okay. I'll do it now. Not like that. You haven't been paying attention. Your tail is too stubby to make it spin fast enough. So I'll just do it for you. Shigua! Don't touch my meow. It's very delicate. Well, you won't even let me play with my own toy. I'm just trying to show you how to do it right. Now, if you don't want to learn... I know how to play, you know. You're so... you're so bossy. The tighter the coils, the faster the spin. I'm going to run away. We'll find you. We know all your secret hiding spots. Not if I... if I... if I go outside. Don't forget your umbrella. Woof, woof. Hmm. Woof. I mean snow. Snow. My sincerest apologies to the Magistrate. He did make the rain stop. Where's Shigua? She should see this. Shigua! 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 Shigua ran away. Again. Oh, Sagwa. You weren't bossing her around, were you? Again? I wasn't being bossy. I was just trying to show her how to spin her top. She was doing it all wrong. Well, I'll go check her hiding places. And don't you two go out into that snowstorm until it's over. Shigua? Shigua? I can't find her anywhere. Not if I... if I... if I go outside! <gasps> oh. She couldn't have. She wouldn't have. Oh, Shigua! Oh, it's all my fault. I should have just let her let me. Ah! <laughs> Hang on, Shigua. I'm coming. Keep. Oh, Shigua, you silly thing. Sagwa, where are you? Oh, don't. 
don't tell me they've both run away. Where were you? <sighs> In my bed, took a nap. Have you seen Sagwa? She's probably playing with my top. Huh? What? Hmm. Oh, I've been following my own paw prints. For poor little Shigwa. Wait, they're calling for me. Sakwa, where are you? Shigwa, you're safe. Oh, I'm sorry for being so bossy. Wow, what's that stuff? When did you get back? I was looking all over for you out there. I... I never went outside. Sagwa, I told you not to go out into that storm. But... but I was looking for Shigwa. You mean you were here the whole time? Hmm. Well, you must have had lots of time to spin your top. Come on, show me how. You were really out in a snowstorm? Wasn't it cold? Oh, a bit. But I'm really warm now. To learn more about Sagwa, visit us at pbskids.org. Shigwa is my baby sister. My brother and I help take care of her. The simplest things seem to make her happy. Just about anything makes her laugh. <laughs> Even though she's young, she sure knows how to get in trouble. Whoa! She's still a kitten, just learning how to be a cat. Are you fighting with your tail again? My tail started it. Whoa! Sagwa was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, yeah. Be flying high with dragon tails. Up next. There are bazillions of planets in the universe. There are nine very lovely planets in our own solar system, and we all know Earth. The most important planet is planet U. Luckily, you're the president. It's a big job because you have to keep your environment clean and safe, deal with problems without losing your cool, manage your money wisely, discover, invent, Explore. You're responsible for a healthy, smart planet. If you won't look after it, who will? Your mom? Clean your room. Hey, want to hear a fun rhyme? Is it about a Dalmatian? It's a rhyme about a clam named Sam, who's best friends with a lamb named Pam. Sam said, hey, Pam, would you like some bread and jam? I'd rather have a peanut butter sandwich. Hey, that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> PBS Kids is made possible by your support of your local PBS station.